Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about the topic clarity before the move. And the reason why I want to talk about this topic is because a lot of the times we don't move because we don't feel like we have we don't know where to go and we don't have clarity, but it is through the move we receive clarity. I kind of want to share my struggles with that. I want to share my mindset that I had with that and just the mindset that I'm actually kind of growing out of because I wouldn't say I'm fully out of that, but that was a mindset that I had. Like I was so scared to move forward because I didn't have, I didn't, there was a lot of uncertainties. So I didn't want to just start walking. I didn't really trust that I would know what to do. I didn't trust that even though I was praying that God directs my steps. I don't think I believed it because I allowed confusion and doubt and everything to come in. So I kind of want to talk about that because if I'm going through that or if I'm if I've dealt with that, I know I've talked to a lot of people as well, so I know that there's people that's going through it. So I want to come on here to help anybody else that is watching me or anybody else that's out there that need kind of encouragement and support. Um yeah, so I would say since I came to my relationship with God, with my relationship with God, since building my relationship with God, um, I've always been so enthusiastic with learning about God, learning the purpose that God has for me. I always had super, super big desires and I knew that it wasn't coming from me. But over time, you know, I didn't really know how to fulfill those desires. I didn't really know what to do with the desires. I've tried so many things for those desires to come to pass but they all seem so big and just so unattainable and it just didn't match up to what was happening in my day to day and i was speaking the scriptures over myself i can do all things through christ who strengthens me romans 8 28 jeremiah 29 11 all of those things but honestly i didn't really believe it because i wasn't walking in it and i was in a place where i just plateaued and i just was so inspired I had ideas but didn't even know what where what should I do how how am I going to get from point A to point B and looking back on it it was obvious that I didn't really invite God in I I pray to God and I say God come into my situation help me with my situation but when we do that like are you really allowing God to come in and you take like a side and let God Arthur your um authorize your footstep because in proverbs it says many are the plans of man but god orchestrates our footsteps and i would say god i want you to orchestrate my footsteps but at the end of the day i was moving when god telling me to move or i didn't want to stop my movement when god told me to stop so clarity comes in the move there was a point where i just got so tired that i stopped moving altogether like I didn't even want to do anything on my own strength but I thought that I by not doing things on my own strength I was allowing God to take over but honestly I wasn't I just wasn't doing anything on my strength but I wasn't also allowing God to do his thing as well so I was I was stuck and I was always in a place of transition and uncertainty I was I would be God, I would go to God and say God just take control and God would come and try to take control and, and I would be in a season of transition but it was too uncertain to the point that I'm like okay no and I take it back from God and then I'm in this stage of being unfulfilled all over again so this was probably the longest point where I'm like I don't even know what to do it was like a year that went by and I'm like I don't even know what to do I was unhappy with everything um, just unhappy with life um, but not depressed or anything just know that God has called me to something bigger but I didn't know how to get there and it was very confusing for me and it, it, it brought me to a place where I had a lot of faith as I said in a previous video but I didn't know what to do with that faith that faith was not activated um, I was so overwhelmed by the planning by the resources by everything that i that it would take the effort that it would take for me to move from point a to point b that I completely just was like okay i'm believing god for it. if it's not happening then that god is not wanting and i was like 
let your will be done god but i wasn't even doing anything for his will to be done so i was just sitting down you know <laughs> um i was just i was just believing and in my mind i thought that i was doing everything but i think deep down i knew that i wasn't walking in the path that god wanted me to walk in i wasn't walking in faith but how can you walk in faith when you don't even know where you're walking how can you walk in faith if you feel so confused and doubtful and just i would fast i would do all the thing i'll pray fast seek wise counsel but nothing was working guys like nothing was working i thought i was meditating on the word but nothing was working and it's because of my mindset my mindset was still hung up on fear fear was the one thing that kept me stuck because i knew that god was calling me to put out videos i knew that god was calling me to um just to do certain things within myself because he's calling me to lead a group of people i knew all these and i knew that god was calling me to be a speaker in all these assignments that he was telling me to do that i was doing here and there but i didn't know i that's all i knew i just i didn't really know what to do after that and when i did try i i lacked a lot of discipline and a lot of consistency for once for one and i kind of blame it on that like i don't have consistency i don't really know how to maneuver this or i would give in to my urges like i had no self-control we all know what the bible say about not having self-control the bible first timothy um says that i think it's two seven that says god did not give us a spirit of fear but a spirit of love power and a sound mind but also in some version is self self-control um in proverbs you talk about a man without self-control is like the city of Jerusalem with no walls. Like anyone can broke, break into it. You are vulnerable. Like you can't take control of anything. If you don't have self-control in the things that God is giving you in the little, if you don't know how to steward it, how is God going to give you um, the things that you're asking for? So the reason why I was stuck is because I lack self-control and social media was a big part. Like TikTok, I was like, okay, I didn't want to be on, so, on TikTok past 12 p.m., or i'm and i'm gonna only be on there for about two and a half hours a day and if it goes over that that's it and then youtube because i love youtube i can't be on there for more than a few hours right but i would always go over it and since i had a job where i worked overnight that messed up my schedule and i would use as an excuse but you know sometimes we have to do the hard things we have to do the hard work to do the hard we have to do the hard work to do the hard work and i had a heart issue and I was praying for a difference, but I needed to deal with the fruits that I had. So that's where I'm going back. We, sometimes it's our limitations. God has called us to develop things inside of us, or he wants to help us develop things inside of us, but we actually have to also want it. It was not until a few months later I got fed up, and I was tired of keeping doing on the same cycle of conviction and all of that, and I was trying to seek, I was trying to seek accountability, but there was no one that I believe that could have held me accountable than me actually seeking God. Because I was like, God, I know you're the only one. You have to keep me accountable. You have to be my accountable, accountability partner. And God was doing his part. He was convicting me and stuff like that. But he's not going to force me to do it. I have to get up and actually say, no, I need to stop this. It's going to be uncomfortable, but I need a change. And I decided, no, I don't need anyone. I mean, sir, I'm not saying to don't look at, at people to hold you accountable. Some things you do, but I know that in this situation, God was not um, telling me to look to anybody else because I was able to do it on my own. I was just too scared and I just wanted to comfort myself i wanted to do whatever i wanted to do but it wasn't changing my mindset because i was also saying i want to wake up earlier and go to sleep earlier but i'm staying up all hours of the night if i can't sleep read a book read the bible until i fall asleep but i did not want i shouldn't need to tend to my phone so there was no excuse for that even if my schedule was turn up i'm just trying to give you guys an example of what how that was displayed in my life so i got up one day and i'm like i can't do this anymore like i need to walk in the place i actually saw a video i need to walk in the person that i need to be i need to show up as brianna that's five years from now i want to i need to show up as that disciplined person that person that has self-control that person 
that knows how to stop herself, that finds comfort in God, the person that wakes up early and go to sleep early. I need to be that person. I just show up as that person so to receive the life that God has for me. I can't expect to get that life if I'm still showing up as the old person. So I that was keeping me stuck and that was keeping me a place of uncertainty i couldn't move forward because i didn't have no vision and i had no purpose and through that re through that i had no clarity because if i couldn't move forward i'm not getting any clarity so it was through that after i made that decision no i'm gonna work on this and i don't care how uncomfortable it is even making this video guys like that consistency is just something like we can have so like a big desire in our heart and that uncertainty of not knowing how it's going to work out kind of like bring forth doubt and fear in our hearts and that's what i like that's a constant battle but you take those thoughts captive second corinthians 10 5 and know who god is god came on this earth to give you life and a purpose and you can't just declare scriptures over yourself, but you're not changing your actions. What are the, it's the fruits that you are judged. It's your heart posture that you are just based upon. So you're praying and you're doing all of this, but your, your, your fruits are rotten. Your tree are no longer growing or producing good fruit. So it's, it's ruining the entire tree. And it's, it's just like, I had very, like very rotten fruits and I needed to change that because I could not go anywhere. Yeah, they, they might, look good for a few I don't know a few days but then they rotten so quickly they weren't sustainable so I had to start showing up as and I'm gonna make a video about that that's probably gonna be my next or my I'm gonna make a video soon about sh how to show up as a person that you're called you're called to be because that is very hard God is guys it's not easy it's a change it's a shift you have to get out of your old habits and start walking in new habits and that requires work and effort it's uncomfortable and it's sometimes i hate it i don't want to get so it's a whole video in itself so i'll talk more about that but i could not move forward with god and i was so stuck because i couldn't move forward with the way that i was um and I didn't realize how damaging that was for where God was calling me or God, where God is calling me. I didn't realize how damaging. So I'm in this season where I'm really surrendering and allowing God to take control in this transition because I don't want to go through it again. I want God to come in and do what he needs to do, even though I'm uncertain, even though I don't even know how these desires are going to come to place. I don't know how it's going to come to fruition. I don't know how he's going to do it. I trust that he's going to do it and I have to do my part. We're making sure that I'm stewarding what I do have, even though I might not have much right now. I'm stewarding what he has given me and I'm, I'm, living by his commandments and biblical principles claiming his words over me and actually walking where he's calling me you know declaring the word over my life and knowing that god's going to direct you and lead you as you take one step front because this is me posting this video is taking one step because the we think that when god has placed a huge desire in our heart we have to wake up one day and we have to be there no god will give you tangible steps to take he'll give you a plan instructions and that's what overwhelmed me so much but planning and say okay how can i take little steps to get to that where god is taking me but with him remember that god is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can think for as for or imagine like it is him that's going to turn that rock into a place of water or the wilderness that gives you food that desert that give you water it is him that's going to turn the little into something big it is him that's going to supply your needs according to his riches it is him that's going to make everything purposeful but know that he did not have he does not have a plan to harm you so whatever situation you're going through it's not get up repent to god ask god to give you direction focus but you're not god does not want to harm you god does not want to harm you in this years i was thinking dang god what is happening but i wasn't also doing my part and i'm so thankful for god for showing me because i generally did want to get to a place where i no longer wanted to walk in the same way i wanted to i just didn't know how to get there and i think i had 
I was struggling with the pride and the patience as well to get there. And God has really been humbling me in this season. But it is through that uncertainty, I'm like leaning on him more. Like I need him. Um, I don't know. I can't go right or left. I need God behind me to tell me where to go. As it says in Isaiah, like I want him to lead me in the way I should go right or left. Like I need him to be the author of my footstep, the, um, the author of my faith. So it is now I'm able to walk in. I'm walking into that clarity. And it's even with the showing up as the person I want to be, that that was also walking in clarity. Started really disciplined, like take it, like going to sleep when I need to go to sleep, getting off of social media when I need to go to take get off of social media. That was walking into clarity. Little things can be walking into clarity. Waking up a certain time can be walking into taking a walk in the morning can be walking into th into clarity. And it, it could be walking, all of those are walking into clarity. But we, you have to take that move, you have to take that step. Because if you don't take that step, you're just stuck. You're stagnant. You're in, you're, and it's not even like a peaceful, like, um, you know, those waters in Psalms 3, 23 says, it will lead you by still waters. It's not that, that you're even still, because in that space, you're frustrated and you're angry and you're confused. and. But look into your heart. Ask God to reveal things in you that you need, that he needs to uproot, so that you need to change, that can't go with you to the next season. Because this season is crucial, guys, for God to, in this redirection, um, this period of uncertainty, God is taking you to, he's building up to take you somewhere else. And I'm like, okay, God, I know I'm in a period where I'm starting over, and it's scary but I don't want to do it with anybody else but you. Um, because in um, Proverbs Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, it says, trust in God, trust not in your, lean not on your own understanding, but with all your heart, trust in God and he will make your path straight. So it can be hard not to lean on your own um, understanding, especially when there's uncertainties because you want to take control. You want to make sure that something is moving in your life. And trust me, I, be, I I know exactly what you're talking about because I'm in a season where I'm like, God, I don't know what is going on. I need to, I need something. I need something. I feel like my life is passing and I'm not doing anything. But it's just like, no, I am. I've been doing a lot, a lot of inner work. And, a, and I've also been, it's not like you're just sitting and you're not doing anything at all. I've been, um, listening to god and 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 also trying to do steps that I, that he's able to direct me and like if like you know looking at places looking at jobs looking at career doing these things that you can do and in through that god that's also a step moving forward and god will direct you sometimes we don't take steps because we're scared but god's not going to pick you up and force you through that door you have to go you have to take those little steps you have to play pray and ask god for courage and strength to go into that step and discernment for his voice and be sensitive to the spirit so you are no you are aware of where he is calling you to go but a lot of that can be so intimidating but we have to trust that god does not his love does not go away because of your mistakes or anything like that and you know a lot of the questions that i was asking myself was okay god i know that your love doesn't go away but i also don't want to walk out of your will i don't want to walk in your disobedience because i don't want to lose your protection but you have to trust that if you genuinely are seeking god god is going to put you back on the right path you can't be scared of um of going off the wrong path to so until sorry you cannot be so scared that you're paralyzed and not moving because then that's also a lack of faith you have to trust that god will direct you back on the right path and yeah so step out step out do a small step today as for me my small step is planning 10 to 15 minutes a day because planning um videos can be very intimidating for me and and you know especially displaying my life and outside and just kind of encourage and trying to help others and know that they're not alone that can be very intimidating and very scary but honestly <laughs> if i know that i'm going through this and i know i'm feeling in the pain and everything like that the confusion that it can come about i want to even help just one person and i because i know that 
when I was going through it, it was painful, or as I'm going through it right now. Um, so yeah, taking that step and believe that God is the one that's going to direct you. But you cannot keep praying and declaring and everything like that, but you're not dealing with one your heart issue and you're not also de you're not also stepping because even as you step god also going to reveal things inside of you that cannot go where he's trying to take you um i was asking seeking all these things but god's not going to give me something bigger if i lack self-control i'm not going to be able to know how to control the things that he's given me if i didn't know how to do this or do that it'd be the smallest thing guys that we don't think that matters because we're like oh we're going to be able to have self-control when we have a bigger thing or we're going to be able to have discipline and consistent no if you can't have it in a small thing that requires very little of you how are you going to have it in the bigger things and i'm really seeing the importance of that as well as like uh, so many other things but yeah take that step what is that step that's got god has called you to do or maybe you don't even know if god has called you to do it but what is that step that's been on your mind what can you take? What are things that you need to work on right now in this transition as you transitioning or as you thinking about um, walking away from where you know that God's calling you to do? What step can you do? What's tangible, small step so you can go to the bigger picture? Write, the, write it all down. Write, write down what, where you want to be, the desires of your heart and pray over it. Ask God to give you anything that he wants to put on your heart and take away anything that is not of him and rewrite what you wrote down and really sit but you have to take a step because you've been writing down you've been praying you've been seeking all these things and nothing's changing because you're not moving faith without word it, work is dead it is through your action it is through your action yeah sometimes you you have faith but it's through you have to work you cannot be lazy i god really checked me when he was like it was in Proverbs, it says the lazy man does not get food to eat or he stays in poverty or something like that. And I was like, wow, I think I am being lazy because I'm scared. I was having lazy faith. I was scared. So I, but I, that ends you up in poverty because you're lazy. You're not going to do anything. So you want God to bless you with all these things and you're, you don't even work or do anything, didn't learn anything. And you want him to, how are you going to keep it? You're going to still be lazy when you have it. So that is something that I'm working on. But I want to just encourage you guys that you're not alone. It's, it's a period of, you might feel uncertain. Don't allow that doubt to make you feel like God is not connect, like you're not connecting with God. Don't let confusion or uncertainty or the unknown to make you feel like you're not connecting to God or make you rush anything. Because taking a step is not you rushing. Taking a step is allow taking a step by step and working towards where you believe that God is calling you to go. And God, as you pray and seek him, and he's going to direct your path. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and everything will be added onto you. And all of his righteousness and everything will add added onto you. Matthew 6, 33. So trust that as you seek him, it's going to add to you. That's a promise. Um, he's He's going to be the lamp that light up your feet um, in this process. But you have to move. You have to plan. You have to orchestrate. You have to talk to those people. You have to ask those help. You, you can't allow embarrassment to stop you anymore. Embarrassment does not do anything. The thing is, when you when we die, no one's gonna think about embarrassment. That's what's. Like, no one's gonna be like, oh, remember that one when they did this thing, they wrote this book or did that. Like, no one's gonna think about that. But you don't want to. God give us this world as to also have hope in us so that we can have hope in us. He did not give us this world so that we can be miserable and suffer. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to come on here to talk about. And let me know if you guys want me to talk about anything specific. Ask me any questions in the comments. Let me know if you feel comfortable, what God is, what kind of season you're in right now, what kind of transition period, because I'm definitely in a transition period and i'm just taking it one step at a time and i'm doing it right this time and and you know the enemy can give us a lot of guilt and shame that is something i'm going to take talk about that in one of another video because that's also not the topic but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe i would love for you guys to comment down below what you might need prayer for and also comment down like i said anything that like the, the transition i would love to read your comments god um so that i can also pray and then other people in the comments can pray for you 
but until next time i love you guys so much i miss filming so much and i just i just want us to level up together and be, look back in two year a year two years three years and be like wow we got we all was on this journey together and really see how god really moved in our life like wow god you did that it takes when we put in our faith action and we trust in you you do that you do that when we live by your word god you show up and you show out and yeah that's all that i want um be blessed god i pray that god just bless and cover all of you guys protect you guys and just direct your feet i just pray for his hope and his peace and his joy to be upon you and i just pray for divine protection and i pray for you all to receive this um as the lord wants you to receive it in your heart in jesus name